Hello guys, my name is Karthik and I work as tech lead in Merlab Software Private Limited. Today I am going to talk about the data flow task uh, in the SSIS. As we all know, uh, data flow task is one of the important tasks uh, in the SSIS package. Uh, I believe I have explained this in my previous video. Uh, I have already created a new project in Visual Studio. I created like this. You can enter the values here, whatever you would like to. I'm not going to create it. Uh, I'm just using the newly created empty project here. Let me drag and drop the data flow task. I'm going to save the project. I have to double click in order to work with the data flow task, and it navigates me to another tab here where I can drag and drop the data sources you can see here you can add whatever the data source uh, you would like to I'm using the world ADB data source I'm using the SQL Server 2005 and I'm connecting to the AdventureWorks database So when I double clicked here, uh, system shows me and it has selected this particular connection string as default because I was using it earlier. And I have to select the data access mode, it's the SQL command. I had that in my clipboard, I just pasted that here. Check for parsing, check for preview, it's working and the second one I have the SQL commands here let me repeat the same step here now I have three data sources what I would like to do is to merge these three data sources I can show you the output here as you can see these are three different data sets from the same database it can be from different database as well I want to merge them so to start with we need to sort the data in order to merge I am going to sort based on product subcategory ID which I already know need to connect to this task and then select the same ID here because it's going to be joined in the next task the next task is quite interesting actually it's called merge join. Merge join is basically uh, two data sets or data so data sets can be merged into one data set. Let me show you by connecting this. I have to select this as left, and the second one is obviously right. I saved it. I have to select these columns. and let me give alias to the name sort one name that is this one product subcategory table you see a drop down here you can either select inner join left outer join or full outer join I have selected inner join let me save it now I have an output I can obviously push it into any destination which is available here but I would like to uh, merge it with another data set before doing so now I have to sort it once again let 
let me select the product ID here and let me select product ID here uh, what you have to know is you have to select the same IDs when you are trying to uh, merge two data sets here the product ID and I have the product ID here now I can drag and drop one more merge join the disadvantage of merge join is it can handle only two uh, data sources so we have to cascade these in order to achieve our goal of uh, merging more than two data sources okay I need to select the output press ok it's done uh, now uh, I have to uh, select a destination I'm going to select OLADB destination I'm going to connect it here it is uh, the same way uh, as earlier the we had to select a connection string and I'm selecting a table or a view because I have already created a table that matches the output of my uh, data flow task you can see here I have to navigate to the mapping here and because I have category name uh, entered so I have to map it otherwise this task is going to fail this particular task is going to fail otherwise I can even show you that how it's going to fail right now uh, our work is done uh, I just need to run this you see oh it's fast it has run it's everything is in green that means it has worked let me stop this and then move over to management studio okay here is the data whatever the data that's been produced by these tasks it has merged this task all the three data sets from presumably the same location but you can you can get the data from any location that you like or what is supported by these tasks you can also read this data from a file and then you can dump it into any destination you want right now the output is yielded you can see 1896 rows that's the output of three joints all the three if I am going to put a join over this that's the output okay folks uh, that's it uh, for today uh, in next uh, video releases I'm going to talk about uh, deploying creating and deploying packages uh, programmatically which is very interesting for you uh, please watch out for this video uh, and uh, this is very much important in our normal way of uh, work uh, thank you bye